friends, this is Jenna with Photography Mix. Today I'm coming on to share what I sent out in the Christmas Beach Swap hosted by Kathy's Creative Crafts and More and Tree Craft On. There are seven of us ladies that have swapped projects with each other. You can go and check out those videos. I will link them down below. But I wanted to share what I sent to my recipient. So... Um, in this swap, we were to make a beach tote. So this is my beach tote. I made this cute little pair of sunnies. <laughs> and I decorated mine with a, a little trim and some pearls and seashells. I added buttons on the handles. And I made them in my colors that I showed in my sneak peek, which are um, teal, lime green, and this pinky peach color so let me i think i'm going to take everything out and then we can talk about it so let's see what we got here okay i know all right so that's the beach tote Okay, so inside my beach tote, we are to have um, a flat ornament. So this is what I sent for my flat ornament. I did add a hanger at the top because I felt it was necessary, but I can take him out. I made this really cool little hipster <laughs> um, Santa. This is a Tim Holtz uh, Sizzix set. I think it's called Hipster christmas or something like that there's my little marking on the back but i cut it out um using a little die that looks like a stamp um and then i tried to make it look like a postage stamp with the 25 cents on it you know december 25th i thought that was kind of cheeky and um and i used my colors the lime green the teal and the peach and then i added this little charm for a uh for the hanger and that is my little ornament i think he turned out super cute I packaged them with a little button. Okay, the next thing we're supposed to have was embellished rosettes. So that are that are these. <laughs> um, I used the buttons and the seashells, and I stacked them up all nice. Um, one one says jingle shells, and I add a little um, bells to make a sound because I think sound is really fun. Um, and I added some trim and um, some words and things. So those are my rosettes. We were also to have, oh, a card. So this is the card I made. I made a little sand castle and a little melted snowman, which I thought was fun. Um, I added some, I don't know if you can tell. Let's take this out. I added some texture paste that has sand grit in it. And it dries clear. I think you could tell it's very textured. It's kind of it's kind of fun. It's from Prima. Is it from Prima? Yeah, it's it's a Prima. Um, do I have it right here? Let's see. Yeah, here. This is what it looks like. It's called texture paste white sand, but it dries clear. So whatever color you have underneath, it'll dry. Um, and then I added um, warmest wishes for a joyous Christmas. That's the inside. I left it blank. So I think that turned out really cool. I really, um, I really love this little melty snowman stamp. It's one of my favorites. It's a Stampin' Up set. It's right here. Okay. An oldie but goodie, right? All right. Next thing we were supposed to add was a sequins mix. So I thought it would be fun to put it in a little seashell. So this is my sequins mix here, and I added some loose pearls for fun. <laughs> They're all falling out at me. That's okay. Um, but this is my sequins mix, and it has all the colors that I put in my uh, swap. So we're gonna we're gonna button him back up, okay? And then we were to add oh, a crafter's choice, and this is what I made for my crafter's choice. This was the sneak peek, which I talked about. I'll link. I can link that down below if you want to if 
hear more about it, but this is my crafter's choice. There are some large tags. This is what inspired the color palette for the rest of my project. Okay. And then we were to send a present. So um, I actually made some extras here. Uh, this is my sweet treat. I added a little jelly bean tropical mix. I thought that would make it hopefully through the heat. And then this is my present, which I'm wrapping in a Lay's container, which I thought was so funny because if you go to the beach, you know, you have to have your, <laughs> your snack of choice, right? So I decided to do a Lay's potato chip bag. And um, in the chip bag, I did add some chips, but these are meant to be um, chips of positivity, right? So uh, they say you are capable of amazing things. I didn't stamp all of them, but I stamped most of them. Um, do what makes your soul shine. Um, you're doing great. Um, keep it simple. Oh, today is a good day for a good day. So I thought these were so, these were actually really fun to make. It kind of just came to me like, oh, I have to put chips in the bag. Um, but this is my disguise for my present, which is this cute uh, necklace that says good vibes only. And it's a sun um, in silver. So I hope my recipient enjoys, uh, enjoys that. And then um, for funsies, I made, because you can't go to the beach without your beach pail. So I made this Scrap Diva Designs beach pail with a little shaker um, shovel. <laughs> I love how this turned out. And uh, it says beach vibes. And then inside here, I added some extra rosettes. So I made a whole little baggie of rosettes. So my recipient can hopefully enjoy some of the, uh, some of the extras. I did make the tassel to go on the side some beads and um, a little um, embellished rosette here and then I also made some extra buttons that I put in this glassine flamingo bag so I made some extra buttons with the other sayings I didn't use and that completes my swap I hope you enjoyed what I made and um, I hope you enjoyed watching what the others what the others made and received but I honestly had so much fun doing this thank you Kathy and Tree for hosting um, and I can't wait to do more swaps with you girls because you guys are amazing thanks for watching have a great day bye